Hey, welcome back to Neon Abyss. This game is really weird for me because every other series on this channel I record every day, but I play this game uh, once a week. Is this the right save file? Hang on. I gotta check if this is the right save file. I might have... Is this the right save file? Oh god. I think it is, right? I think we were one away from unlocking Matthew. Yeah. I just, uh, I'm trying to think. I didn't stream this game, and I don't think I've played this game since last week when I recorded the last big chunk. So I think we're okay. I'm just gonna stick with Anna. I think that I like her the most. I'm just, if I pick this character, I'm going to kill myself with the katana. And Meditation Boy is cool and all, but I'm not good enough to get him down to zero hearts. When I'm better at the game, I think that Wade, or not Wade, uh, Amir is probably gonna be one of the best characters because you just do violence always sell your soul to the devil get zero health and then fly and you just become unkillable because flying seems really powerful in this game however you know a few updates this is a new recording session i think i'm only going to do three videos in this session because i have a lot of uh, other things to do other things being mainly just get stream highlights ready and also set my videos to upload because for some reason yesterday which is actually today last night however you want to play it, phrase it i forgot which is something that has not happened in a very long time to me where it's just oops i forgot to upload my videos today but it did happen although you know i'll probably apologize for that in the next ratropolis episode i don't know it's like, it's weird now because my, my numbers are all wrong. I am, I was, I was doing so well. I've been, I've been so consistent with my uploads for the past few months. And then I just, I whiffed it. I finally lost it. I dropped the streak. Just like my time on Duolingo. Is this a fish? Bigger fish. It has a dream. Active get an egg. This gun looks awful, but we'll give it a shot. I really, I do feel as though the starting gun might be the best one. That looks like a secret room to me, by the way. I don't know why. This is a really weird gun, and I'm actually then only gonna shoot that crystal, which is not good. I feel like they all do the same damage, but end up with uh, different bullet patterns. The more eggs you have, the further you can shoot. Okay. I feel like we're gonna end up just like... Oh, it costs money to do this? 20, 25 coins for an egg, okay. Look, I'm just gonna... I'm sorry if you want new guns, but I don't like this gun. I really don't like the way it shoots. I'm just gonna take the regular gun. The Steven Seagal. But yeah, thank you for the support on Neon Abyss is what I was going to say. It's very, like, not really scary, but it's... It feels strange for me to branch out when I'm in the groove, so I'm glad to see that there was some uh, enjoyment, at least, and some people are watching these videos and having a good time. I'm having a good time playing the game, and it, it opens me up to, because, like, I, when I was doing it before, where I did, I did Stone Shard in the past, and with Stone Shard, I did, like, I did Ratropolis and Stone Shard. Ratropolis was, like, the main thing that people watched, and then, oh, that's the secret room for sure. And then Stone Shard was the, like, the secondary. I'm gonna not take that spike damage, right? It was just something that I was like, yeah, only a few people watch this, but it's a good time. Oh, this is the boss room. I thought, I don't know why I thought this was something else. That's my mistake. And we're against Plush Boy. This boss, I remember giving me a lot of trouble. Oh, God. Maybe I should try jumping. I will finish this line of dialogue here momentarily. But basically, it's just, it's nice to have, like... Having this extra day off to do YouTube stuff is nice for me, and it's uh, it's going to open me up to playing more stuff on this channel in the future, not just doing Monster Train Ratropolis until the end of time. This this attack is... I need to look at my character more, I think, for this combat. I think I need to be looking at the boss out of my peripheral vision. Yeah. We'll get better. This is just HP. I accidentally walked into the boss room. You know, classic. But some other stuff I'm interested in checking out. Like, I don't expect Neon Abyss to be a super long series. How uh, Ratropolis is... Ratropolis is, like, my long running. I'm probably going to play it. Not forever, but for... Uh, at least until the game is fully released and done with. At the very least. And then... 
you know, this slot will do some fun stuff too. I'll probably try out Rogue Legacy both on stream. Can I get up here, by the way? I don't think I can get up here. Maybe I can if I break this. Ah, yeah, I can. Cool. And I can make this jump, and I can jump up here. Really neat. I think this room is really cool. And it showcases, like, what is really cool about Neon Abyss, which is things that look like this. I love doing these, like, little platforming... Like these, I like these box puzzles, basically, a lot. Because I can do things... I can min-max it a little bit more by coming down here and breaking that rock. And then I think uh, if, I had, if I had shot this, I could have probably gotten this rock as well. And I could have gotten it all. I think these are neat. I like these rooms a lot. It's fun to try and solve it out just to figure out how I get everything out of this. Was it worth it? Eh, you know. That's a different question. Different story. Not get up there. I really would like to get a bomb on this run so I can hit that. Oh, you got me. I am, am. Is like the room shaking? Am I losing it? The room is shaking, right? Is there screen shake in this game that I just noticed? Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Gameplay. There is screen shake. I was like, I I just got super, super caught by that. I I can't believe I didn't notice that. I, they, they hit the shop enough times. I took I took a bunch of damage there, but it was mostly just me going, why is the room shaking? I couldn't figure it out. I should not go in there. I don't have any health. I don't have any money. That shop is a waste of my time. I will go into this room because it's probably worth it. Yeah, it's worth it. Two full hearts, just what I wanted. And I will end up shooting this because I want to increment my anger. Okay. We're not so bad off here. Where is it? Down here. Just no bombs, right? No bombs is unfortunate. Should have picked the other guy. Could have got the secret room, could have gone into that challenge room. We could have been much stronger leaving here. However, we haven't seen the next boss, right? We the la In the last episode, I beat the second major boss in a run that made me go, oh god, oh Jesus, what's happening? I'm just covering the screen in bullets, if I remember correctly. Are these enemies, now that I like understand that I can just like jump through them like that, significantly easier. And I just want to make sure I respect this guy, which I do. Rock. Hello, Rock. Block enemy bullets. But no, I'm having a good time with Neon Abyss. I'm glad you guys are enjoying it. And, you know, Rogue Legacy 2 is coming out. I may check that out among some other options coming up. This is like a little short series. Do it for a few weeks. Move on. What do you got here? Player Zero Ready, Ancient Mask, and Strange Mask. I don't remember what most of the items do. I'm going to try Player Zero Ready. More enemies you hit without stopping, the more weapon damage you'll do. Ah, yes. Not very interested in player zero ready. Not my favorite pickup, however. It's not terrible, I suppose. I don't hate it. And I, I feel like I am getting at least at least better in terms of like understanding the enemy patterns. Right. Understanding, mainly just understanding that those flying enemies, I can just jump right through them before their attack goes off, right? Do these guys explode on death? What is their gimmick? I think they, they do something. Explode into two smaller enemies. I think they also, like, drop spots on the floor, maybe? Or do they just jump around? I'm not sure. Yeah, player zero already. Definitely not something I would trade a full heart for again. Given the opportunity, which, you know... Will I remember that by next week? <laughs> That's a big ask. But with time, I'll start to understand what the items are. We're going to try and do wisdom from here on, I hope. I accidentally shot the crystal, so we just went ahead and traded away our heart. But from here, we should be able to do some wisdom. Wisdom feels better while I don't know what the items do, basically. Which is another good reason to play... Uh, What's his name? Amir? Something like that? I think it's Amir. This reminds me a lot of uh, Tien from Dragon Ball. I think he's 
also... I mean, he is also in Dragon Ball Z. I'm just not sure if he's in... Oh, I jumped into that bullet. Whoops. Oh, and that guy... These guys drop bombs? I don't know that. He's also in Dragon Ball... The original. However, I've not seen it. Oh, that's right. I said I was going to try watching an anime today. I definitely did not do that. I said I was going to try watching... Uh... What was it? Samurai Champloo, I think, was what I was recommended to give a shot. Oh god. Platforming in rooms with bounce pads. Don't look at me. Alright. Is he just... Ah, uh, these... The, the orange ones drop the bombs. Okay. Look at Ghost Baby just shooting. She's doing her best, I guess. And these ones break into enemies, I wonder... Oh, they do also drop bombs. Okay. I was right. But it seems like, you know, one of the biggest things I'm learning here is just stay moving since there's no contact damage and I can just jump through enemies like this, right? I think it's pretty prudent to just keep it moving here. Okay. And these ones drop the eggs that turn into uh, more annoying enemies. A little, a little... They shoot fours? Oh god. Alright, Strange Spoon. Add a crystal container and it increase your gun's damage. Okay. I mean, the crystal container is whatever, but gun damage up seems good. Although, I guess oh, I took damage, so I actually lost my my wisdom. Shame. I, I feel as though anything that increases my mobility feels very good to me in this game. A double jump, a flight, jump height even seems... Oh, God. That was a fucking... That was a ringer, buddy. Direct hit. Good shot, my man. Didn't think there would be a spider on that ceiling. Please do not send more spiders. To get wisdom, I'm going to need to uh, get hit less, which would be a good idea. I think I'm just going to stop taking damage from here on. What do you think? What is this? Black liquor? Black rum? When you use a bomb, all of your eggs will explode. This does not seem very good either. I'm just going to say it. I just I need I need you to give me a single bomb. But if I I guess I can I can trade half a heart here for a bomb. Which is probably worth it. However, if I fuck this up, we're gonna not feel so happy. But I believe it's just right here. Yeah. Oh, and the eggs explode. And so we just got some free money for that. Okay. Traded half a heart for that bomb. I don't think there's anything else I want to bomb right now. Just die to this boss, right? Probably gonna be how it goes. I have $51. Let's go spend them. Spend it here on crystal. What do you got? This is... I don't know what this gun is. I want to give it a try because it looks cool. The Destroyer. That looks cool. You have a chance to get evil sprites each time you kill an enemy. Okay. I like this gun. I like a little laser beam action. Oh, this is that gun that stocks up parts for you, isn't it? I have no way that I'm ever gonna need this. Look at my health. I'm fucking... I'm trolling. I'm inting. Gimme. I do remember this boss. I think this one's not so bad to me. Oh, they explode. Just have to watch where I am, basically. My damage output isn't feeling uh, so great here. However... And then phase two. Like, that, that attack is no big deal. This is the one that I think can hurt me. Oh, never mind. Alright, that was easy. That boss doesn't seem so bad. Upgrade your weapon and increase movement speed slightly. I don't really know what it means when it says upgrade your weapon. I think that's just like a... I think that just indicates that it's a stat up. I'm also gonna go grab these crystals I left behind. Because I know I actually left them behind. Because I had no crystal space not too long ago. Five banger. And then I think there's a two in here. That's just one. Either way. Alright. We're alive, which is good. I do not feel like we are snowballing in terms of power at a rate that I would like. However, that's not bad. I'm gonna let these episodes be shorter, I think. If I, like, the, the, the one where we got the win, the last one, I was happy that we did a second run. However, I think that I, like, if if I just lose this one here, or like soon, it'll just be like a shorter episode and that's fine, right? 
I, I'm okay with that. I hope that you are as well. Especially since I don't really know how long an episode is going to be. I think that a win as we get later on here is looking like it's going to be... Okay, Crystal. Probably somewhere in the range of like 30 to 45 minutes is what I'm estimating myself. I don't know. I got all night. I imagine you do as well. Oh, how long you're here for anyway. Whatever time of day it is for you. Those evil sprites are pretty sweet. I need to uh, not die. Is going to be a pretty good idea here, I think. I think some of these enemies I am not very accustomed to seeing also. Oh, I did not. I put myself in a bad spot there. I'm going to die, aren't I? Oh my god, I didn't see it. I am dead. Alright, well, I said I was going to just end the episode if I died like right now. However, 15 minutes? Nah. I don't feel good about that. I lied to you. I'm not ending the episode. I was expecting to not die there. Get your gems in. Not yet. We'll probably get Matthew soon. I'm gonna I'm gonna play as Amir. I just I really feel like Amir is the best character just because he lets me know what the items do, so that when I get a violent shrine, I don't pick things up that make me go, "Oh, this is worthless." I I don't know. Shaking the rust off. I think that I'm gonna look to end the episode in like the 20 to, 20 to 30 minutes, and if it goes longer, that's fine. I don't even know what these flowers do. Who are you, flower? This is an Undertale. The game wasn't made by Toby Fox, I don't think. Although I don't actually know who made this game, so it could have been Toby Fox. This is not a way to go. I'm just walking up to a, an empty wall. But I am also, I'm playing this game at my own leisure, and we're only doing like, oh my god, I just jumped right into the bomb. Only doing like one episode every other day as well, so my, uh, my skill at this game is not going to get very high, I imagine, or more, not that. We're not going to progress super fast, which is something that I am okay with. I'm not too worried about, like, oh, I just, I, I want to super fast progress into whatever the super hard mode is. I think it's called, like, I think it's called Abyss Mode or something like that, but I'm not worried about it. I'm just kind of going at my own pace, playing it one episode every other day, three to four episodes a week for myself, depending on the week. This week, I think, is three. And it's solid, right? It's good stuff. Fun to do a little variety. And when I'm, uh... When I'm good and I'm done with it, we'll move on. This is a game, though, that I mentioned I wanted to do, like, a review or, like, a first impressions. I ended up not doing it just because, you know, a little late. But I wouldn't mind trying to do some sort of a, like, play a game and give my thoughts sort of series. I've been thinking about doing that for a long time. I would probably end up having to just do it as, like, a... Nice. Probably end up having to do it as just, like, a live commentary thing, though, because I cannot be bothered with editing. I hate, I don't hate editing, I'm just, I don't have, and I'm not planning to invest in editing software right now. The editing software that I use is just like, you import files and, uh, you know, you can put them together or not. I'm using, I think it's called OpenShot. My friend recommended it to me. He's in the, the film industry, or he's going to be in the film industry, I suppose. All right. I, have, I think this is two bomb requirement here, so I cannot get into that challenge room. Being able to do the challenge rooms seems very good. What does this do? More pets you have, more bullets you fire. I knew I recognized strawberry candy. I could tell you for sure it did something related to pets, but I couldn't remember what it was. I do not think that this is very good. Is this a unicorn horn? Silver moon. Opens all locks. Wow. Okay. Is it free? What does it cost me? It costs five crystals. Oh my. Open all locked chests and doors in the room for five crystals. I imagine it doesn't count rooms with a uh, bomb requirement as locked. Okay, give it a shot. Ooh, a little shield room seems nice. I, I can use these two bombs to open the challenge room though. Mick Tucky. I don't like this boss. This boss makes my head hurt a little bit. 
Especially when they spit out some garbage at me. The later versions of this boss are the, one that re the ones that really give it to me. Oh, it does spawn something. I didn't think it was gonna spawn anything for some reason. I don't, I don't know about this gun. <laughs> I'm just gonna say it. I'm uncertain about this gun. These guys do... I don't think... There's nothing about the enemy model. Yeah, they don't do contact damage, actually. So this boss is not so bad. You add contact damage into this, and I would say it's a little... Ah! When you kill one, the other one gets into contact damage mode. And I was unable to do the double kill. Oh my. You are very fast. Please slow down, sir. Holy moly. Holy! I do not like this. Please slow down. I am going to have to write you a speeding ticket if you do not slow down. Please, sir. You must obey the law if you're going to be part of this colony. There you go. Police badge. Yo, I, I am the law. They've given me the ability to, uh... You're under arrest for real now. Now you've done it. I've gotten my police badge. I'm on the force. I am definitely gonna hurt myself or miss this bomb. I don't know. Excellent. I think this is more worth it than those shields. Now, police, the, the second bullet, I, I kind of like this gun, but I also think it's awful. I'm pretty sure it's terrible, right? If it didn't stop, I would say it's good. However, because it stops firing after a certain point, I think this gun might be bad. Unsurprisingly. It's like, oh my god, I can't move? I, ca I cannot move. I was actually, they, corn they stun locked me in the corner. This is very unfortunate. I think this gun is bad. Whoa. This song is pretty bumping though, do you hear this? Whoa my god! Well, I guess every instance of damage he takes he uh, fires a bullet, huh? Ah, you got me. I thought these guys dropped a bomb on death, I guess I was wrong. There's melee and weapon damage. You know, the laser beam looks larger. I'll stick with it. I'll, I'll give it a try. However, I do believe that... I believe that the starting gun might just be the best gun in the game. And you might not even want to bother with any other gun. Alright, let's ride. We, uh... We've been hurt. But I guess it's okay. I feel like... Leaving the first floor having filled up my wisdom bar would make me feel a little better. Or even just filling up my violence bar, I guess. I can't stop getting hit, though. I just keep getting hit every single room. I can't stop it. I am, in fact, terrible. I can't make that jump. What am I doing? I do want to go over here just to open these crates. See what's inside. Whoa, my jumps are not great. That's okay. I think we'll try and save up the five crystals. Okay, this I don't have any crystals. Oh no. I guess we're I guess we're going violence. I've made an executive decision to go violence on this run. Uh, I might just die again. Like this is it's just me. I gotta get my. Uh, Mr. Bolt will create a beautiful firework. I gotta shake off the rest. Gotta remember what I learned last time. Even if I didn't want that violence, I don't think I had a choice. I will just crack this open. Okay, watch out for Mr. Bomb. Alright. Now, these enemies seem really difficult for this gun to handle. Like these enemies that activate when you hurt them seem very hard for this gun to deal with. Gotta keep them at arm's length. I and mean, then we just, uh. Yeah, let him do that to me. And, oh, just barely had enough space there. Uh, hey, not so. Oh my god, I was about to say, not so bad. And then as the last enemy dies, I took a hit. Yeah, I am just like, I. I am not doing very well here. I, I blame the gun. I'm just gonna say it. I blame the gun. 
I try something new here. Uh, why would I ever do that? And the answer is because I'm, you know, like I said, I'm not, I'm not too worried about being like super good at this game or anything like that. Kind of having fun. Let's try out this gun. Let's see how it goes. It can shoot through walls apparently, or maybe only those walls. Oh, it can shoot through walls. I didn't realize it can shoot through walls. I feel like there's something I can do with this information, but I feel like instead of doing anything with this information, I'm probably just about to get killed by this bear. Hello, Mr. Bear. Oh, God. I thought he was a shoot bear. I almost jumped into him and died. He was not a shoot bear. He was a charge bear. The ones you really gotta watch out for are those drop bears. I hear a lot of people talking about them. But there's like, you know, you're just walking around and there's just a bear and it drops on you. It's like a little Fortnite drop. You guys heard of Fortnite? Me neither. I am dead. Yeah. I don't think that I like that gun very much. However, you know, doesn't, uh... Doesn't feel that bad. We tried something new. We had fun. We talked about drop bears. What more can you want? Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed, don't forget to drop bear me a like. <laughs> uh. Uh, subscribe if you want to see more. We'll do Neon Abyss every other day, 11.30 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. I will see you in the next one. Have a good one.